Hello everyone, Savage Studios here with the uh, this man. And uh, speaking of this man, I would I thought I should be doing this for quite a while, so I decided to do it today. So I will be reviewing Godzilla King of the Monsters. So, spoilers ahead. If you don't want to see any spoilers, go ahead and uh, stop this video and watch Godzilla yourself. Otherwise, here's my review. Yes! Ah, yes! Godzilla King of the Monsters gave, gave us some of that classic Toho references. I noticed them. Yeah, I also noticed a lot of other things in that movie, such as uh, the burning Godzilla, really like that, and uh, yeah, I also noticed uh, well, that one scene where it showed the picture with that Japanese girl and her mom in the picture. I noticed how that referenced the two Mothra twins. That was cool. But yeah, out of all... Well, okay, so... And here is how I rate the movie. This is what I think of it. Four and a half stars! Just because, uh, well... Nothing's perfect. And stuff. And also they locked in gears, so yeah, I like in gears. So yeah, that's my review. Okay, um, that's not the full review on it, but uh, yeah, it was quite an amazing film. I did enjoy Sila and um, Methuselah and Behemoth, mostly Behemoth. Because they were all just really cool, especially Behemoth. I mean, Behemoth was like a cross between this guy and this guy. It was awesome. Seriously, I really enjoyed the movie. And also, I really did enjoy um, Jinshin Mushi or Muto Prime. And if you're not wondering, that was the villain of Godzilla Earthquake Swarm. Well... Besides, well, the lobster puppet, that was the Shinomura from Godzilla Awakening, the comic. And the fly toy, that was, that was Hawk Muto from uh, Godzilla 2014. But yeah, it was great. Really great. Extremely great. But yeah, the movie was great, and uh, I also loved how uh, Rodan survived the movie, like how he turned good at the end. That was amazing. But also, I here's something I didn't like about the movie. I just don't like that Mothra died. I mean, I like Mothra. I really do. And. Uh, yeah, I just, I just wasn't, I wasn't ready to see her go. Yeah. But here's something interesting about Mothra. Is she can relive through, like, larvas or something. So, that's good. She might appear in Godzilla vs. Kong. Also, unlike, uh, this movie right here. That was the 2014 Godzilla. Yeah, unlike that one, the human characters weren't weren't boring. I mean, also it showed more fights and stuff, and you could actually see the movie better than in 2014. Here, let me just show you. Look, you can barely see that. You 
can barely see that. But yeah, and with King of the Monsters, you could see it perfectly. It was just, the movie was amazing. And, uh, yeah, that's all I really have to say about it. So, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Can we get a thousand likes up in here? It would make him really happy. So yeah, that's all for this video. If you can't get enough savages, subscribe to Declan Clark and Francis Enoch today. And I'll subscribe, subscribe to this channel. Yeah. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Psych. Yeah.